Taking up position on the gate on the inside, Funkin' Waffles with Maroma Beach. In the center, Classic Pro, Hurricane Beach, and Western Joe. To the outside is Edward Hanover and Bags to Riches. Field of seven, tenth race, first Confederation Cup elimination. Field for race number 10. Cup elimination number one is approaching the start. And they're off. Classic Pro is going to come out smartly with Maroma Beach and Western Joe. And along to the inside, Funkin' Waffles is racing into the front four. Then it is Bags to Riches and Hurricane Beach. And relaxed away trailing the field is Eddard Hanover. On into the back stretch they go. And Maroma Beach had the lead, but now driving on the outside. There goes Western Joe coming on. Western Joe to the outside against Maroma Beach on the inside. Western Joe is able to clear to the front. Maroma Beach is second. Funkin' Waffles is third. 26 and 4 the opening quarter, and Classic Pro is racing fourth in front of Hurricane Beach. Then it is back to Edward Hanover. Bags to Riches is trailing the field. Western Joe, Doug McNair's got the lead as the field works their way on around the turn. Maroma Beach and Yannick Jingra is right there filling the pocket position. Funk and Waffles and Corey Callahan is racing third and now is going to come to the outside as they race up to the half and is working first over. Then following to the outside, Hurricane Beach and Bob McClure is well spotted second over. Classic Pro is Fifth to the inside and Trevor Henry. 56 and 2 was the halftime. Then it is Eddard Hanover and Bags to Riches. They race the way to the 5 8. It is still Western Joe who is leading, but on the outside, challenging now as they race in the back stretch is Funk and Waffles. Funk and Waffles is only about a head off the lead now of Western Joe, who's still moving well. And to the inside, racing position third is Maroma Beach. Hurricane Beach is racing fourth and out from the backfield. Edward Hanover is starting to fly. Then on the inside, Classic Pro. And Bags to Riches is kicking into gear. Edward Hanover is making up a lot of ground. Three quarters, 124 and 1. And they roll to the top of the stretch. It is Western Joe, Funk and Waffles. Now to the inside Maroma Beach and Edward Hanover is flattened out a little bit. Maroma Beach is third. They come on down the stretch drive and Western Joe leads it by a length and a half up the inside Maroma Beach. Western Joe, Maroma Beach. Western Joe is going to win. Maroma Beach was second. Then third is between a closing Edward Hanover and Funkin' Waffles won 51 and 3. Giddy up. Back in front of us, the winner of the 10th race, the first Confederation Cup elimination. It is number five, Western Joe. Four-year-old Western Ideal Bay Horse, owned by Anthony Ruggeri. Christopher Choate is the trainer, Doug McNair, the winning driver. 16th win for Western Joe Lifetime, 151-3.
Here are the tenth race mutual prices. Number five, Western Joe, 340, 250, and 240. Number two, Marumba Beach, 530, 360, and number six, at Hanover, 730. The Exactor, 2420, the dollar try, 6410, dollar superfecta, 17150. 11th race is up next. Post time is in 11 minutes. Fans note, in this 11th race, number one, Trevor Henry, will be wearing the driving colors of the stable, Diamond Creek Racing Stable. They are white, blue, and black. So note that Trevor Henry will be wearing white, blue, and black colors, the colors of Diamond Creek Racing.